anticipated Nokia flagship has been under development since earlier this year and, while it's no longer expected to make an appearance until 2019, a new leak has revealed a few extra details about the smartphone. Since the brand was reintroduced last year, all Nokia devices have been developed by HMD Global. However, the company in charge of manufacturing these is actually Feemobile, a subsidiary of Foxconn, which itself produces Apple's iPhones. It is on this company's servers that new data has been found which points towards Olympic being the code name of the Nokia 9 PureView. Now, HMD Global hasn't confirmed this code name officially but it certainly makes sense. After all, the Olympic symbol contains five rings, which is the same number of rear cameras that are expected. In addition to this, the flagship now appears to be running Android 9 Pie complete with the November security patch. This suggests that it will indeed come running the latest version of Android when it launches next year, just as expected. For those unaware, HMD Global initially had plans to release the Nokia 9 Pure View this autumn. Due to certain features which weren't up to scratch, though, the company delayed the smartphone's unveiling until early 2019. The highly anticipated Nokia flagship has been under development since earlier this year and, while it's no longer expected to make an appearance until 2019, a new leak has revealed a few extra details about the smartphone. Since the brand was reintroduced last year, all Nokia devices have been developed by HMD Global. However, the company in charge of manufacturing these is actually Feemobile, a subsidiary of Foxconn, which itself produces Apple's iPhones. It is on this company's servers that new data has been found which points towards Olympic being the code name of the Nokia 9 PureView. Now, HMD Global hasn't confirmed this code name officially but it certainly makes sense. After all, the Olympic symbol contains five rings, which is the same number of rear cameras that are expected. In addition to this, the flagship now appears to be running Android.